собак и герой. Вырубай этот ролик нафиг, потому что он испортит твою психику. Hi friends, a subscriber asked to tell why ghosts come at night. In this video I will try to tell you about it. During the day, when the noise of the street, life, events drowns out everything around, you don't see a tenth of what is really happening. And only when night falls and you are sitting alone in the apartment in deafening silence, everything starts to seem different. The parquet floor in the hallway creaked. Someone walks behind the door, you open the door, and it seems as if at the last moment this someone slipped somewhere into the darkness. You look into a large mirror hanging over the bedside table, and it seems that the reflection that you see differs in some subtle strokes from the real hallway, and the feeling that your own reflection is about to wink at you, or wave, even though you are standing still, not moving. There is not the slightest breeze outside the window, not a sound, as if there are otherworldly worlds or emptiness behind it. More precisely, there can be anything behind it, and you won't be surprised if you look out the window and see that the city has disappeared, and now behind it is a dark, gloomy forest that grew here a thousand years ago. At such moments, as in reality, images pop up in the imagination, long past events that you have not even witnessed and you begin to feel like all time and space exist at one point with which you have merged. During the day, when there is noise, fuss, movement around, we are absolutely blind, and we do not see everything that is hidden deep inside us. The world is amazing and welcoming during the day, when everything wakes up and comes to life, but with the onset of darkness, another side of the world appears, unknown to the common men. She scares, but at the same time beckons with her unknown, why do ghosts manifest themselves only at night and why do they come? When a person sleeps, he is in his most defenseless state. He is not ready for sudden movements and attacks from the outside. Therefore, a sudden awakening from a nightmare or a loud sound can mean only one thing for a person a ghost has come to him. Moreover, ghosts do not hide their presence even in daylight. But at night, when the noises subside and everything goes to sleep, they become active. Before a person falls asleep, he will go through several stages of falling asleep. The most important of them is borderline. It is at this stage that the brain is very susceptible to everything, whether it's footsteps in the next room or icy breath on the neck. In such an unarmed state, a person instantly comes out of the borderline stage and wakes up in a state of inexplicable panic. Why do ghosts come at night? Next, you should find out the reason for the ghostly appearance. Usually such entities do not come just like that, they necessarily have a purpose for such a sudden presence. A deceased soulmate came to visit. The spirits of the dead sometimes remind themselves of themselves with simple rustles or night steps, so that the memory of him does not die. The restless souls who died under strange circumstances are forever stuck in the world of the living. Their essence is filled with universal resentment, so such a visit can be extremely aggressive. Ghosts want to give a parting word or warn against dangers. Sometimes spirits come to help a person sort out his own fears and guide him on the right path. In another case, ghosts appear to protect from possible trouble. It is possible that the appearance of ghosts coincides with the implementation of their evil intentions. Some spirits want to take a person with them while he is defenseless and disoriented. Why are ghosts more active at night? Why are spirits more active at night? Ghosts make their presence known between 12 o'clock at night and 4 o'clock in the morning. 
Most paranormal investigations take place at night because paranormal activity is more active between midnight and four o'clock in the morning. This is partly due to the fact that most of the Earth's activities have already ended because most people sleep at night. In addition, most electrical appliances are not used. It is easier to detect paranormal activity at night and eliminate electromagnetic interference from the devices used. This does not mean that entities or energies are not active during the daytime. They are there. There is also a more scientific reason for the increase in paranormal activity at night. This is due to the relationship of the sun and the earth. The energies associated with ghosts seem to be electromagnetic in nature. The sun is a large natural nuclear reactor in the solar system. It constantly irradiates the earth with alpha, gamma, x-ray and cosmic radiation. Together, they are called solar winds. The earth and all its inhabitants are protected by several protective layers that block about 99% of these dangerous rays. One of these layers is called the magnetosphere, which is a magnetic field that radiates from both poles longitudinally in the shape of a funnel. The interaction of these radiation particles can be seen in the northern lights, or the southern lights, where the magnetosphere is the thinnest. Under the magnetosphere is the ionosphere. This layer reflects the Earth's natural electronic magnetic field radiated back down to the Earth's surface. The force of the solar wind compresses the magnetosphere on the side of the Earth facing the Sun, which also compresses the ionosphere closer to the Earth's surface, as a result of which the Earth's natural electronic magnetic field becomes more chaotic and bounces back and forth over a small area. As the solar winds approach the Earth, the magnetosphere and ionosphere expand outward and away from the planet at night. This allows the Earth's own magnetic field to expand and become quieter. To prove this, just tune into the long and medium waves of the radio at night. You can catch stations from all over the country, and sometimes from afar. It is assumed that the spiritual world can connect to calm, freely flowing solar and geomagnetic energies and tune into them. Summing up, we can say that solar winds direct electromagnetic fields to the Earth on the day side, so entities do not need to use them for materialization or interaction. While on the dark side, facing away from the Sun, the electronic magnetic field moves up from the Earth and goes into space. It is an ideal environment for any type of spirit that wants to interact or optimize. There is a more spiritual or unscientific reason for believing that paranormal activity increases at night, based on the Judeo-Christian belief in the inversion of the hour of Christ. It was assumed that Jesus Christ was crucified at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so at 3 o'clock in the morning, or the hour opposite the crucifixion, would reflect the opposite or inversion. It is believed that restless spirits can roam freely at this time and create chaos. In the West, this is known by the witching hour. Originally, it was believed that evil spirits mock the gods. Friends, have you ever seen such unusual phenomena? Share your observations in the comments. See you soon, tomorrow.